It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to the Sunday Night Live edition of the Mike Prince Show. I am glad to be back in the studios here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. As they say, there's no place like home. Big weekend in the world of the Southwest Athletic Conference on the football field. Southern pulls off what some would consider the upset, which helps the Panthers out in a huge way. Alabama A&M may have put the dagger in head coach Ely's career at Alabama State. The Panthers now get prepared to take on the Hornets this week in homecoming 2021. No tailgating, but the game will go on. Of course, joining us on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline tonight will be head football coach of the Prairie View A&M University Panthers, none other than Coach Eric Dooley. I am going to take a quick break, and we'll jump right into tonight's episode. Keep it right where you got it. We'll be right back. Drivers and bicyclists both have the right to be on the road and travel safely. And when we're on the road together, safety is a shared responsibility. State law requires drivers to maintain at least three feet of clearance when passing bicyclists. And bicyclists should always ride with the direction of traffic and follow all traffic signals. It's safer. It's courteous. It's the law. A message from the Regional Planning Commission Pedestrian and Bicycle Program. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next seven years of bigger and bigger enrollments, America's grade schools will need nearly a quarter of a million extra teachers besides those to fill normal vacancies. This great need, plus the growing public interest in education and improvements in schools, make elementary school teaching a more rewarding career than ever, a career that high school and college students should certainly consider. Education holds America's future, perhaps your future. The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference. Be our history. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu.org. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Sunday Night Live edition here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, reminding you can follow me on Twitter at The Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I want to also remind you that you have a chance to win up to $2,500 in prize money. All you have to do is join the annual raffle prize giveaway for the Prairie View Athletic Club, and it's just that simple. You have the opportunity to win $1,000, $750, $500, or $250 with just the right luck. You just might win all of them. But the only way you can do it, you got to sign up and get your tickets today. All you have to do is dial 936 857 5817. That number one more time, 936 857 Five eight one seven. Well, we talked about the Panthers in the pole position, if you would, for the opportunity 
of securing the Western Division to move forward to the championship game, but they still have some work to do. Not counting the chickens before they hatch. You got to love the positioning, though. Now, with Alabama State coming off the defeat against Alabama A&M, they are still primed to strike, and you cannot get ahead of the game. The Hornets are a good team, but it's one of those mystery teams. You don't know what you're going to get. It's almost like a mixed bag of nuts or the, the chocolate candies that are filled with the different things, and you don't know until you break them open. That's kind of what Alabama State has been like uh, in these last few seasons. Really, I guess, I guess about the last few seasons or so it would be safe to say that it's been up and down roller coaster ride. But with the loss this weekend in the Magic City Classic to the Bulldogs, knowing that the importance of that game is just as vital as the Labor Day Classic is between Prairie View, Texas Southern, just as the Bayou Classic is between Gramlin and Southern University. That was a big game, and Ely has struggled to win that game. So it could be the last hurrah. I'm not wishing that it was the case, but in the business of athletics, it's about what have you done for me lately. And let's be honest, it's been a struggle. It's been a mystery ride. And with the new leadership and the athletic director in the likes of Derek Horn, I'm sorry, not Derek Horn, forgive me, that was at Alabama State, but in the likes of the leadership at um, uh, Jason Cable, forgive me, Dr. Jason Cable, makes one believe and wonder that it is what it is right now. So with all of that, going on and all the change in the atmosphere it's going to be interesting to see how the hornets will respond this coming week for homecoming 2021 against the prairie view a m university panthers meanwhile back at the ranch the panthers have to keep the foot on the pedal and maintain their steady pace of getting things done there's been a surgence of the run game of late um, the, we know that the quick striking abilities of pass at the quarterback position and the defense has been playing a little bit more above grade of recent weeks. Now, if there is a weakness or a chink in the armor, it has to be the special teams play. You don't want to give up any swing of field position, let alone any points when it comes to to going down the home stretch, what the Panthers will have to face. Meanwhile, on the rest of the side of the Western Division, how about the Texas Southern Tigers? They just took the Golden Lions of University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff to the woodshed, scoring 59 points. Another explosive performance by Mr. Andrew Body. Ladies and gentlemen, from what I've seen and gathered, he is the real deal. And all I can say is I'm glad we got to see him after the fact. So now we have some tape on him at Prairie View. Maybe the next time they come together, they'll have a scheme of attack on how to keep the body in control, if you got a little hint on that. But nonetheless, it's some exciting times going on in the Southwestern Athletic Conference as we make things a gnome. We're going to take another quick break and we'll be right back. You're listening to the Mike Prince show on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Hold things steady. Don't go nowhere. And we'll be right back. Hello, this is Alonzo Hardy Jr., the president of the SWAC Alumni Association. The SWAC Alumni Association is an organization founded on December 10, 1999 at the Sheraton Hotel in Birmingham, Alabama. Its mission is to serve as a rallying ground for individuals who have made the Southwestern Athletic Conference the illustrious conference that it is today. Its membership is open to former student athletes who played in the conference in any sport, as well as to coaches, athletic administrators, staff members, game officials, and fans. Annually, the association holds a Legends Awards and Roast Banquet or luncheon where it honors individuals with Lifetime Achievement Awards, 
a Chuck Profit Wagon Master Award, and occasionally a Distinguished Service Award. Proceeds from that event help to finance degree completion scholarships for student athletes who have exhausted their playing eligibility at SWAC universities, but who may still need an extra semester or two to complete their college studies. For more information on the SWAC Alumni Association or to get information on becoming a member, you can send correspondence to SWAC Alumni Association, 875 Miller Creek Lane, Newport News, Virginia, 23602. The email address is SWAC Alumni Association at yahoo.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sunday Night Live edition of the Mike Prince Show. Mike Prince here with you. Panthers getting ready to get funked up for homecoming 2021, taking on the Alabama State. Before the break, we were talking about how Alabama State has been up and down, in and out, and the surgeons of Texas Southern here of late. But we cannot forget the team that is just as hot, the Jackson State Tigers, the I love. Jackson State goes off to Itabena, Mississippi, and they secure the win on the road as they are in the driver's seat from the Eastern Division of things. And as this season is shaping up, once again, not counting the chickens before they hatch, but what a story behind the story this could shape up to be. If you look at it from a PV connection, the number one team in the West, the number one team in the East, the number two team in the East, all have a common denominator. And that common denominator is athletic director Ashley Robertson. Of course, Ashley Robertson spent time as athletic director at Mississippi Valley, Prairie View, and now currently at Jackson State. Now, of course, Jackson is enjoying the services of Coach Deion Sanders, who was hired by Ashley Robertson. The coaching responsibilities of FAMU's quarterback, I'm sorry, not quarterback, but head coach, Shotgun Willie Simmons, got his break by Ashley Robinson at Prairie View, and the current coach for the Prairie View a University Panthers, Coach Eric Dooley, got his break by Ashley Robinson. Does this make athletic director Robinson the one with the Midas touch when it comes to selecting football coaches? Some would say yes. Some would say coincidence. I'll leave that up to you. But what a tale that could shape up if things hold to pass right now. Jackson State undefeated. Panthers undefeated. Will the two meet in the championship round? That yet remains to be seen. We will be hearing from Coach Eric Dooley here on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline tonight. We'll discuss things that he saw, things that he's preparing for in this upcoming battle between the Hornets of Alabama State. And has he seen the very best that the Panthers can produce in this 2021 season? I'm pretty sure I knew the answer to that. And it would be a negative. He still think that there is room for improvement. And I think we all believe that there is room for improvement. The final quest and destination, no doubt, is Atlanta, Georgia in the Celebration Bowl. But as we stated, you still have a lot of ball remaining. Technically speaking, you have a month of football left. We're just getting started in October with November. And when you break things down, Alabama State, then, of course, the big game between Alcorn, you'll have Texas A&M, and you'll finish up with Mississippi Valley. Now, ideally, 
you would expect to go three and one on these last four games. We know that Texas A&M would be a tall order, but you heard Coach Dude say he is going to play to win the game. But we understand the realistic possibilities of that. But meanwhile, in your conference play, you need to assure yourself definitely two out of three and more importantly, head to head competition against the Alcorn State Braves. Nonetheless, you want to go for the trifecta, starting with Alabama State, continuing on to Alabama, I'm sorry, to Alcorn, and then concluding with Mississippi Valley at home. So you have two home games remaining, two road games remaining, even though College Station is right up the road. Uh, uh, what they say, a lamb shake, and you'll be right there in College Station, 53 miles to be exact. So a lot of exciting football for the Panthers. Are you pleased with the level of play that the Panthers have been producing for this 2021 season? Yes, they are undefeated in conference play, had a disappointing loss against Incarnate Word, but Incarnate Word has proven to be somewhat of a juggernaut in the Southland Conference this year. They've taken care of the teams that they're supposed to take care of, got over a huge hurdle Last week against the Southern Jags, who turned around and did the Panthers a huge favor with the win of this weekend over Alcorn State. Now, does that save Coach Collins? I would still think not so. But who am I? I'm just a talk show host with a microphone that speaks the way he sees it from time to time. Some may agree, some may disagree, but that's what makes everything, everything. We are going to make some room to get ready for our guest on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline, and that is none other than Coach Eric Dooley. But I must take a break, get some things lined up, and we'll be back, hopefully, with Coach Eric Dooley of the Prairie View AM University Panthers. You are listening to the Mike Prince Show Sunday Night Live Edition right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Tell somebody, pass it on. We'll be right back. Reflections Paint and Auto Body Shop, located in Waller, Texas, is ready to restore the beauty of your automobile. Whether it's a small dent or a major accident, if your vehicle needs auto body repair, check out Reflections Paint and Body Shop. All repairs are completed by highly skilled and trained professionals. They are located at 2910 Waller Street in Waller, Texas. And just in case you can't get it in to them, they provide towing services. Call them today, 936-931-5780. That number again, 936-931-5780. Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union has 13 different locations to better serve you. Locations in Rosenberg, Missouri City, Katy, College Station, Bryan, Brenham, and Waller, Texas. For more information, you can contact them on their toll-free number, 855-391-2149. Or you can send an email to information at bvscu. Org. Let's face it, from time to time, we'll have a need for an attorney, whether it's the case of a DUI, DWI, or any other circumstances that would find you on the other side of the law. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, located at 1047 Austin Street, is the one to call. Attorney Lee Van Richardson and his staff are equipped to help you get through your legal battles. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, 979-826-8008 in Hempstead, Texas. 
This broadcast has been made possible by the support of the Prairie View Athletic Club. The Prairie View Athletic Club is a proud supporter of Prairie View a University Athletics. For more information on becoming a member of the Prairie View Athletic Club, send your email to pvathletic.club at gmail.com. That email address again is pvathletic.club at gmail.com. Prairie View Athletic Club, a proud supporter of Prairie View A&M University Athletics. Have sports, we'll trap. The Open Mic Broadcast Network serving student athletes from Little League, high school, and collegiate coverage right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. From coast to coast, from dust till dawn. You can catch all student athletic action right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the station designed with you in mind. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mike Prince Show Sunday Night Live edition. We are going to switch right over to the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline. We have on board with us right now head football coach of the Prairie View A&M University Panthers, none other than Coach Eric Dooley. Coach, how are you doing this evening, sir? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Well, we're doing absolutely fantastic. I know that you were scoreboard watching because I was scoreboard watching and not that you need the help, but we got a little help and we can take any special help, especially this time of the year. But before we get into all that, how was your weekend, sir? My weekend was good, quiet because we get a chance to go out and compete, but it was a good weekend for us. Uh, had a chance just to uh, get the guys going. We, we kind of had like a little, little, little game going uh, Saturday. So, I was pleased with the weekend. Okay, what now? What kind of game you have going on? Just a little inner squad. Uh, we we, we did. Uh, you know, in, in my my sense, we had to we had to build up Alabama State, so we played Alabama State this past weekend. Okay, okay, a, a little prerequisites for the big showdown come up this weekend. Now, before we get into that, Coach, when when you're watching, I'm pretty sure you you peaked at that Magic City Classic between A and M and the Hornets. And although the Hornets came up short. They show some some strong displays at some point or another. And what were some of the things that that you discovered when you kind of glanced at that game and looked over the tape? That they, they they got they got a good football team and, and they're gonna play hard and they're gonna play hard for the whole game because and I know it's a classic, you can throw a lot of different things out and, and that's their arch rival uh game that they play every year, but I thought they showed some signs where, you know, in, in, in the two phases that I really critiqued a whole lot, the offense and the defense side, uh, I, they got a good football team. They, they can score points. And the defense, uh, I tell you what, they're very, very aggressive. Okay. Now, Coach, I know when when you're studying film, and we hear those terms all the time, but if you could break down the Dooley way, how do you study film? I, you, you know – I kind of do things. That, of course, you want to get the different fronts. You want to get the different blitzes that they bring, the different coverages that they bring. And then I like to break it down to a, a science looking at individuals. I uh, try to break down their weak points when I talk about the defensive backs, when I talk about the linebacks, and I talk about their defensive fronts. I'm always looking for uh, certain things that's going to give me a key. You know, a lot of guys look for the, uh, the weak link. I like to look for the guy that's the best on the defense. I want to go after that best guy. Because that, that's the anchor of their team. So I always want to look for who I think is a very, very impact player on their team. Yes, sir. Well, it's ironic that you would say that because most people do try to avoid the best player, which gives them momentum to disrupt the play instead of going straight at them where they have to fight off that combat uh, close and personal. And then by the time they get through that, hopefully you didn't get to the second tier on that person. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's just different schemes, but. You know, I do trust my coaches. We get together and uh, we make sure we uh, we looking at the same things and uh, you know, trying to scout and, and get the best uh, uh, scheme that's going to help our guys to be successful, put them in the best position to be successful. Yes, sir. Now I know you do a lot of RPOs, which is for the run pass option, which is somewhat 
of an audible, but do you uh, give your quarterbacks or do you see something during the line of play that you call an audible during that time, or do you just kind of go with what you called? I, you know, the, the great thing about our offensive scheme is built in already. You know, a lot of people like to have uh, a, a lot of blitz beaters, a lot of uh, things that they can uh, pick up. All our stuff is built into the play that we call, and that's why it's so important to, to know the play uh, in and out. Uh, when you know the play and you know what we're trying to accomplish, it's already there for you. You just got to know your your progressions. Uh, when we talk about passing, you just got to know uh, your progression, even when we're talking about the run game, because it's all built in into the play itself. Yes, sir. Now, one thing that uh, has been really noticed throughout the conference is the improvement of the run game. And I, I'm just assuming a lot of that, the run game is triggered off sometimes how your quarterback plays as well, too, though, right? Absolutely. He has to know the fronts and he has to know the blisters. And I, I take my hat off to my quarterback coach. He's doing an a excellent job with making sure that that young man is prepared and understand the different fronts and the different blisters that he may see. So that kind of helps us out when you got a young man that's mature and understand those different things. Yes, sir. We're talking right now with Coach Eric Dooley on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline. Panthers had a bye this week, but there were some things that were taking place on the field that were somewhat favorable uh, for the Panthers in regards of going down the stretch, but still have to take care of business at hand. With Southern defeating Alcorn, of course, they were at home coming off that uh let's say, devastating loss for, uh, for homecoming. Were you shocked at how they rebounded so quickly and efficiently? Uh, you know, right now, at this day and time, I try to let nothing shock me or, or let anything surprise me because uh, I'm going to keep saying it week in and week out, even when I do the teleconference with the SWAC. We have a great conference. We have the best conference in all of SCS, I think. So any given Saturday, you got to be ready to play. And that's what I that's what I build on. I, I think we got the best conference in in um in all of college football right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No doubt about it. As a very strong conference. Uh, a lot of people like to dub it as the SEC of FCS. But my counter to that, Coach, ESPN need to come off some of that money like we the SEC. But that's a whole nother topic, right? That would that would help all of us, sir, all of us and the choir section. So we'll beat that drum a little later. But right now, with the Hornets coming limping in, that's a dangerous team to be facing that's coming off some of the disappointments, the up and down. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know how Coach Ely continue to coach under those circumstances. Well, you know, he, he he's a very experienced coach. He's been around. He's seen it all. So he, he know how to get those guys going, and, and that's what we expect. So uh, we don't look at records. We don't we don't look where guys are being at. We just look at a team. And, you know, you, you have a lot of cliche things that you say that is important. It's a big game because it's the next game. But that's what we pride ourselves on. You know, it's important because this is who we're playing right now. That's why I use that acronym WIN. So I, I use it all the time. What's important now? What's important now? Alabama State Hornets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the unique factor that they will be the homecoming opponent this year. Now, in times past, Coach, you would normally gather the guys up and go to Houston to get away from some of the homecoming festivities. We know that has been somewhat changed because of COVID-19. There'll be no tailgating, a lot of broken hearts behind that. But we've been reminding people there is still a game, especially a game of importance coming up. Do you plan to do the same routine as far as getting your guys going to Houston to get away from the atmosphere, or how will you do that for this season? We would do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing regardless of what the situation may be. Uh, this is what we are accustomed to. I, I know sometimes you have sudden change, but this is what's been uh, very, very uh, helpful for us, uh, the mindset of our individuals. So, you know, because there's so many different distractions, you know, you can say that you're not going to have a lot of events, but, you know, that just don't stop outsiders from wanting to come on campus or do certain things. So uh, we've been doing it. We've been fortunate enough that the uh, our administrators have been very, very helpful with getting us the opportunity to do that. So we're going to continue to do that this week as well. Yes, sir. Now make sure that they do not disclose where they'll be so they don't have any people hanging out in the lobbies causing distractions, man. We need everybody focused and laser focused so we can continue taking care of the business at hand. 
you know that 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 can't happen because um, I'm 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 in security. I'm going to be in the lobby. So I ain't got to worry about them hanging in the lobby because. I'm the security, and I'm I'm 24 seven. I know that's right, Coach. I know that's right. Now, Coach, I don't think I've asked you this since we've had you on, but I I failed to do so. So forgive me. Every coach, and you can't tell me you don't have one. What's your routines as you get ready the night before and the day of the game, Coach? What do you go through systematically each and every week? Well, you, you know, I'm 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 a guy that I'm an early riser. I, I, I hardly sleep. I, I can't say that. I hardly sleep. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be up real early. I like to read my word. I'm going to always read my word because I, that's what gets me started. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a Starbucks guy. <laughs> I got to get my Starbucks and and uh, thank off to myself. You know, I, I, I kind of like tell my players to do the same thing. I, I see the game at night. I see the game at night. So I try to play the game at night and play the game in the morning. And, and then by the time I get to the stadium, it's just time to the formality part of it now, just to go out there and do it. Okay. Now, you know, everybody rants and raves about your wardrobe. Do you lay out your wardrobe the night before, Coach, or do you do it that morning? No, I, I already have. You know, I, I got a wife <laughs> that uh, we 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 on the same page, so that's already taken care of. I just have to just get ready to pack it and go. All right. So she coordinate and you operate. Absolutely. There you go. Absolutely. Now, Coach, I didn't know you was one of them old $10 cup coffee guys, man. I, I love Starbucks. Then I, I need to get some stock in Starbucks. <laughs> I <laughs> but I got to have that Starbucks. I have to. Okay, then. Well, you know, you keep Starbucking on, and they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Heck, if need be, I'll buy the rest of your Starbucks for the rest of the season to keep this thing rolling the way it's rolling right now. Now, Coach, I know that uh, you play to win every game, and and, and realistically, uh, we know that can sometimes happen, in some cases not. And when we spoke way before the first kickoff, you say the goal is a championship, and I know that's still the goal. Do you have any pleasant surprises on this journey thus far? No, I. You know, we we we, we where we want to be at. Uh, I think fortunately we're in a great position right now. But uh, the the surprise is that, you know, that uh, I think my special team is playing some good football. You know, not where I wanted to be yet. Uh -huh. They're playing. You know, you emphasize so much offense and defense. Uh, but I, I'm probably hard on the defense because that's what I wanted to be because I'm 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 very very in tune with the offense. But I just think the defense have to be fast and physical so that's why i'm so uh tough on the defense but uh no surprise i, I think I, I we knew as a coaching staff what we had coming back we just had to go out and, and, and execute uh every game and this we just got to continue to do it because nothing's going to come easy it's only going to get harder so we we, we got to execute in practice you know i i, I tell my guys uh, you know you can't go to the bank and get a withdrawal if you don't deposit anything so we have to deposit starting tonight when we start preparation for Alabama State. Yes, sir. Well, if, if I'd be very candid with you, sir, the surprise for me has to be Mr. Javon Pass. Um, <laughs> this guy, uh, of course, coming from Louisville, FBS program, um, just came out of nowhere. And from outside looking in, watching how he handles himself on the field in situations, um, at the right place at the right time and not trying to dub him anything prior to anything actually happening. But this guy looks like the real deal, man, the real deal. Well, you know, and I, I don't say it in a bad way. I, I'm not surprised because that's what we evaluated with him. Don't, you never know how it's going to uh, pan out once you get to the field. But that was uh, the evaluation that we had on this young man because we very, very uh, – you know, selective as to the guys that we want to join us because, you know, just everything don't fit. It looks good, but everything that looks good ain't always good for you. So uh, I, I thought the coaches did a great job. The assistant coaches did a great job in, in getting in touch with this young man. And, and it just, you know, by the grace of God, it's been a, a great fit for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you know, competition is always going to be fierce and competitive, especially in the Division One level. How long did it take for Paz to be accepted by his band of brothers, which make up the Panthers football program? And when did his leadership ability take over? Well, you know, I, I, I didn't think it took long at all. I think immediately when he came 
in, you know, the guys welcome me in. You know, we we we're in we're in an age right now where uh you can get and watch it. uh you can Google someone and, and see their they work. So you know when guys, you know when players Google you and see some of the things that you've been able to accomplish, it's kind of easy to accept. Uh you know, I, I, I use the term ballers no ballers. They're gonna always uh, find them. So I, I but the just his work ethic when he came in, when you work hard then, you know, guys can respect that. But if you came in because I came from this type of school or I was this type of athlete and you don't put the work in, then it's hard to accept. But this young man came in with the mindset that I got to prove myself. These guys don't know who I am. I got to prove myself. And that's what he did. He went to work. Yes, sir. Bent to work and still got a little bit more work to do as far as all of us are concerned. But you definitely like the progression and the direction in which he and the Panthers are headed in. Once again, we're talking with Eric Dooley, head football coach of the Prairie View Adam University Panthers. Panthers six and one on the season, five and zero in conference play. Got a huge game coming up against Alabama State as they'll be ready for homecoming. 2021 now you said that you you're liking what special teams is but wanting to see a little bit more and what would that little bit more be coach that you're looking for i need to see some punt returns taken to the uh to the end zone i need to see some uh now i don't want to see a whole lot of kickoff returns because if we're getting kickoff returns that means it's scoring on our defense so i know we're going to get one at least uh but I, I just need to see more explosive plays uh, when we are uh, uh, receiving punts, and and then you know don't want to uh, do a whole lot of punting, just just a little bit more. I, I I'm a I'm a guy that that big on stats. I need to see some explosive plays, and I, I'm always thinking offensively that I got to put it in the end zone. Okay, okay. Well, that, look, well, they say spot the ball, right? So yeah, <laughs> so spotting the ball is really what it's all about. Now, as you make your preparations, and with this uh, being homecoming. Do you have one of those sentimental values that you want your seniors to get involved, even if they're not regular players, with the last homecoming, or do you say that for the final game of the season? No, I, I don't. You know, uh, I, uh, fortunately right now, our seniors are very, very involved. Uh, most of our seniors, we don't have a whole lot. Uh, we're right at, we right at about uh, anywhere from 14. We have, we're right at 14 seniors and, and, and good. Those 14 seniors are heavily involved in all three phases of our uh, plan, offensively, defensively, as well as special team wise. So we we're in good. We don't have to do anything special. We just play football. We just line up and do what we do. Yes, sir. Lining up and doing what you're doing. I know you have to get ready for your night session on tonight, and we definitely appreciate you joining in and taking time to be with us. And coach, we want to give you some closing thoughts and comments as we wrap this segment up, sir. You know, I, I have to say this here, Mike, and I want to say it so that your audience can hear this too. Let me tell you something. It would be impossible for me to forget every Sunday that uh, I have to uh, speak to you about uh, Panther football because my wife is the first reminder. She checks me. <laughs> she, she makes sure. Did you call Mike Prince? I'm like, wow, I, I'm not going to forget it. It's, it's in stone, but you know, I, I really smile and laugh and say, you know what? That's good. That's great. You know, she checked. She asked me every time if I came home. That's the first question she asked me. Did you call? So if I didn't call, I'm in trouble. Uh oh. So sure that, that's going to make sure that's a done deal. But no, I do enjoy this here. Uh, you know, I, I think I, I enjoy the. Uh, you know, we were down in a hostile environment uh, last weekend uh, with the uh, uh, with uh, the playing Southern University. But you know what? Because Panther Nation was there. They showed up. And, yes, uh, sir. There and, uh, the band was there. And, uh, the cheerleaders was there. And you can just feel it. Uh, you know, you, you just love that. So just continue to support this homecoming right now. Uh, we need to have a great crowd out here uh, to let them know that we, we are backing our young men. Our young men are doing some exciting things. I know we're in a difficult time. But, you know, uh, uh, you know, since things are big. I, I just like to tell people how big our God is. Our God is real big and he can do everything. 
exceptionally, exceedingly well. So I, I, I like the support that the Panther Nation has given us and just continue to uh, come out and support us. Yes, sir. Well, you tell Mama Dooley, thank you and thank you again. You give a big old open mic hug from us to her, man. And we look forward to it each and every week as well. And let me say thank you for making yourself available to us and the listening audience. They truly enjoy it, get a lot out of it. And that's all we want to do is try to help tell the story, man, from inside out. And we couldn't do it without your support. Uh, thank you, guys. Excellent. All right. Coach Eric Dooley of the Prairie View a and University Panthers. And I don't have to remind you, Coach, but we'll see you next week, right? Yes. Yes. Sir. <laughs> All right, Coach. You have a wonderful weekend. Go out there and get it done, and go Panthers. Thank you. All right, Coach Eric Dooley of the Prairie View Adam University Panthers, getting it ready for homecoming, twenty twenty one, and we definitely are going to be there rooting for our beloved Panthers each and every step of the way. I am going to take another break, and we'll be back with more of tonight's coverage here from the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Keep it right where you got it, and we shall return. Are you looking to expand your business or services? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network help lead the way. With our customized campaigns, we are definitely able to reach your target audience. For more information, dial 832 832- 213-8824. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics. The voice of student athletics. Did you know since 1986, the Prairie View Athletic Club has been in full support of Prairie View Athletics from football to tennis. The Prairie View Athletic Club has been there in the time of need. Did you also know that the Prairie View Athletic Club is open to all of those who will be interested in supporting Prairie View Athletics? Do not have to be a former student athlete. You don't even have to be a graduate of Prairie View. If you are a community member at large and you would like to support the efforts of the Prairie View Athletic Club in support of Prairie View Athletics, simply call 936 857 5817 and join today. The Prairie View Athletic Club, supporting Prairie View Athletics since 1986. Call for more information right now, 936-857-5817. Hey, it's that time of year again where you can win up to $2,500 in prize money by supporting Prairie View Athletics at the same time. All you have to do is register for the Prairie View Athletic Club annual raffle ticket prize giveaway. Simply dial 936-857-5817. $1,000 first prize, $750 second prize, third prize is $500, and fourth prize is $250. Call and register today, 936-857-5817. Prairie View Athletic Club, proudly serving Prairie View Athletics since 1986. That number again, 936-857-5817. One seven. The Southwestern Athletic Conference, also known as the SWAC, has become one of the leading sports associations in the world of collegiate athletics today. Founded in 1920 by C.H. Fuller, Red Randolph, C.H. Patterson, E.G. Evans, H.J. Evans, H.J. Starnes, D.C. Fuller, and G. Witt Jordan, the SWAC's charter class, the Super Six, kicked off with Bishop College, Paul Quinn College, Prairie View A&M, Sam Huston College, Texas College, and Wiley College. The founders came up with the league during a general meeting to discuss common interests as a grand experiment for historically black colleges and universities, or HBCUs. The SWAC's member schools experienced many difficulties in its early years due to the limitations of state funding, but the SWAC never stopped sponsoring competition among its members and student athletes. Though only one of the original members of the SWAC still remains, the SWAC continues to rise in prominence among the best in collegiate sports. The SWAC is one of only two Division I conferences whose current membership is made up of 100% HBCUs. Its current members include the last remaining charter member, Prairie View A&M, and others like Southern University, Texas Southern University, 
Grambling State University, Jackson State University, Alcorn State University, Mississippi Valley State University, Alabama State University, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, and Alabama A&M University. As the SWAC continues to grow in prominence, so does its membership. At the start of the 2021-2022 academic school year, Florida A&M University and Bethune-Cookman University will join the SWAC as its 11th and 12th official members. Championship competition offered by the league currently includes men's competition in baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, tennis, and indoor and outdoor track and field. Women's competition is also offered in basketball, bowling, cross country, golf, indoor and outdoor track and field, soccer, softball, tennis, and volleyball. The SWAC continues to solidify its status among elite collegiate competition with notable NCAA tournament appearances in multiple sports. The SWAC is considered one of the premier HBCU conferences in the country and currently ranks among the elite in the nation in terms of HBCU alumni playing with professional sports teams. Notable professional HBCU and SWAC alumni athletes include Walter Payton, Jackie Slater, Jerry Rice, John Stallworth, Steve McNair, Michael Strahan, Titus Howard, Kadero Hodge, and many more. The Southwestern Athletic Conference will continue to produce some of the best student athletes to ever touch a field of play. Just as the mission statement states, the Southwestern Athletic Conference is organized for the purpose of encouraging and conducting intercollegiate sport activities for student athletes and promoting academic excellence while representing SMAC member institutions with a high level of integrity and sportsmanship. I've been Morgan Hendricks for the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mike Prince Show, Sunday Night Live edition. Just heard from Coach Eric Dooley on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline. They have 13 different locations here in the local Waller County, Brazos County area to serve you. You can check out their website at bvscu.org and get some financial support pronto. That's bvscu.org. Well, on the last break, you heard the SWAC history and how the SWAC is now in its 100th year of competition, actually the 101st year of competition. The 2020 COVID threw everything off, but it didn't stop the conference from moving forward. And when you think about from whence we've come and how we've got here and the roads that we've had to go over and still a lot of work to be done, but I am ever so proud to be connected and established with this conference. I am a product of this conference. I had a successful run and look forward to seeing others have successful runs. And it's a part of our labor of love that we give back to this conference from every conference program that's connected to make this wonderful conference up. We support 100%. And the only time that I am going against any of the Southwestern Athletic Program is when they are up against my beloved Prairie View A&M University Panthers. But other than that, I got you back. We are having, as I say, a grand old time, especially in this 2021 season. Panthers are riding high, coming off the bye week. They'll get ready to take on Alabama State. A lot of football remaining, and we're just hopeful hoping, I should say, that the Panthers do not stumble, keep a steady hand, and hold on tight to the finish line. And speaking of holding on tight, I was doing some perusing through, and Brother Kadaro Hodge has landed with the Detroit Lions right now. Of course, he was with uh, the Los Angeles Rams, got a chance to play in the Super Bowl, uh, from there, he was picked up by the Cleveland Browns and went against my beloved Steelers, who actually beat the Browns today, in fact. And now he's with the Detroit Lions. Well, a lot of people say, well, man, he's jumping around. But that's a good sign. 
that somebody else wants you and see enough in you and your skill set to keep you on a roster. And we just say keep on grinding, my brother, and keep plugging away. We're absolutely proud of you and the work that you put in. We're proud of all of our SWAC, MEAC supporters of the NFL. The NFL could not be the NFL without the SWAC impact. And we'll put that up pound for pound, dollar for dollar with any conference, including the SEC, that when it comes to competition on a high level, on a consistent level, you can't look too far past the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Give an opportunity and we'll show you exactly what we're made of. And speaking of what we're made of, it is almost time for me to exit up out of here. But before we do so, I want to remind you that you have a couple of opportunities to help show your support and love for us here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The first thing you can do is follow me on Twitter. That is at the Mike Prince Show. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. That is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Now, when you subscribe to that channel, there's a little bell that you could hit for notifications, which means every time that we do a live show or we produce something new, that bell will notify you and say, hey, Open Mic did something today. And then you could also give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like or did not like what we happen to produce on that particular segment. We take it all in because we're wanting to get better and we get better with constructive criticism. If we could do something a little bit better, enlighten us and let us know. If you like the way things are going, encourage us and keep us going. But either way, we need your involvement. And last and definitely not least, would you consider becoming a listening partner? Now, what does it mean to become a listening partner? You simply visit our website at obnradio.com and you can go to the donation button. And by going to that donation button, you click your support of any amount. But if there was a, as they say, a request, we would ask if you would consider a $5 a month donation to help the ball keep bouncing. And by that contribution, you'll be amazed at how far that will go to help us carry out our daily missions. It is our endeavor to come to you seven days a week, Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Monday, however you want to identify it on your calendar. And we produce something that you could use each and every day. At least that is our intent. And if you could help us do that, it would greatly, greatly help our calls speed on its way. I am going to exit stage left. It is always a joy and honor to be before you in front of this microphone. I was in, as they say, cognito for a couple of weeks, had to go and get some leg treatment but things are looking good feeling good and I'm truly thankful to God for life health and strength and if you did know now you know that we love you and there's absolutely nothing that you could do about it here from the open mic broadcast network don't forget Subscribe to their YouTube channel, Open Mic Broadcast Network. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, thanking you guys so much for joining in. I want to thank Coach Eric Dooley for joining us on the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline. Thank all our sponsors and underwriters, and thank you, the listener. I must exit, but until the next time, you guys be blessed. And we'll see you on the other side.